Hey guys from Sky and welcome back to a video. I know, I bet you didn't wake up this morning and think you was going to get a video from me today. I woke up this morning and I was like, come on, it's been over a month. It's been like, almost, I think almost two months now. You know, I need to get videos back up on YouTube, so I'm here today and we've got one. It's another episode in the Watford career mode. It's episode five and we're starting off with a game against Crystal Palace. We did play them in the league I think uh, in the league cup I think in the last episode and we took a defeat at Selhurst Park we're coming we're going we're home we are home at Vicarage Road and we are looking to get some revenge and hopefully pick up three points in the league because at the moment the cup I would have liked to have a nice run in the cup but it wasn't really too important for me a nice league finish is what I'm after we don't get off to the best of starts five minutes in with Connor Wickham picking himself up a goal for Palace originally Gomez made the great save but yeah Wickham able to get a rebound a rebound in eventually I don't know how that wasn't actually a penalty I thought that was a definite penalty nothing given we go straight up the other end of Barbo plays it looks to play it in the deflection did actually take it calmly into Spironi Belkalem with a nice last minute tackle there and that was the half time result 1-0 down Connor Wickham picking up that early goal and we're going to have to make some changes to our approach in the second half to try and get ourselves back into this game we are at home we don't want to get a defeat and we get off to a great start Correa pulls the ball back towards Deeney but it did end up going uh, down as an own goal you can see Delaney gets the ball muddled up between his legs couldn't get it off the line and we are back level with that own goal from Tro uh, Troy Deeney the own goal from Troy Deeney no the own goal from Delaney they come through here and oh my word Yannick Bellassi with a terrific goal and that did end up with us taking the defeat we didn't even get a goal it was two goals for them and of course the own goal none of our players even scored and that goal from Yannick Balassi was superb maybe we can think about picking him up in January or a player of his calibre would be nice but of course if you take that 2-1 defeat and now we're going down to Vitality Stadium down in Bournemouth and this time uh, we're going up against another team that got promoted like ourselves Watford and we're hoping this time that we can take the win you can see the team they've got uh, some good players in there. Callum Wilson's going to be a handful. Boric is going to be hard to def uh, to get past, and they've got some other good players as well. This is our lineup: Gomez, and you, you know the lineup, same old lineup: Correa, Dini up front. Hopefully, we can get ourselves get ourselves back onto winning form and make up for that loss to Palace. But it doesn't turn out that way as they come through. And 30th minute, Callum Wilson's header actually beat past Gomez on his near post, and it was down. Once again, we're losing one nil. We get this free kick here with Burgess. We will take it with Burgess. And it was a decent effort, except it was straight at the goalkeeper. He got it on target from a long way round, uh, long way from goal. And of course, it was going to be difficult to score. Francis comes through here, plays the ball back to Christian Atsu. He's already got one goal. No, he hasn't. He has already got an assist, but he bagged himself a goal there. 2 0, five minutes into the second half. And it is really difficult for us to come back from this. As uh, Belkham, another good tackle there like he did make in the other game, but no. Referee actually decides to give it as a penalty. I'm not sure how that was a penalty. Look, Barami apparently fouled him when he was just standing there, but they do have a penalty. It's Max Gradle, and he actually misses it. And Atsu, Atsu could have had himself another goal, but he wasn't happy with that. And that was the full-time result. 2-0, that's another defeat. We really need to do something in training, something to change the way we're playing and try and get ourselves back onto winning form because this is not the way we want to go getting loads of defeats. You can see it was international break, so we actually had two training sessions. We changed it up. We let some other players come in and train, like Drinkwater's coming in, giving him two slots to try and get him to improve, and Correa and Ula and whatnot. But we do have a squad report for you, bringing you a squad report, the first one of the series, first one of the season, first one of the career mode. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with some music, and I'll be back because we've still got another two games left. So I'll be back straight after the squad report to commentate over those.
And there you have the squad report. Some good growth going in there. Some players improving. Some players going down. Of course, they're quite the old ones. But you can see here, the young 18-year-old goalkeeper who did sign Jagalski comes to me and says he wants a game. You can see here, we've got a big game against Arsenal. Am I going to put him in the starting lineup or not? I am. You can see there, Aurelio Gomez recently has been leaking some goals. So, Jagalski, I decided to give him a chance. Chain tank up at the back. Try and solidate so we concede less goals. And maybe that's the difference to getting us a win, uh, getting us back onto form where we can start picking up some points. A good chance there from Correa actually forced a spinner into the save. A spinner playing not um, not check, quite odd. But you can see poor defending again almost allowed Santi Cazorla to bag himself a goal. He, they come through with Sanchez, get it into Aaron Ramsey and Jagowski making another ni uh, a nice save there. And maybe this could be the chance for him to break through into the first team. Uh, we get a chance there, Kapu shot is actually saved by our spinner again trying to get through this is really end-to-end -end kind of game chances for both teams ended nil-nil at the half and either team could have taken the lead and it's all to play for in the second half still hopefully we can do something about that and pick us up a nice goal Correa comes through a nice bit of footwork gets his shot took a deflection and saved by our spinner they come through again Campbell and look at that block from Drinkwater diving into the way to prevent that goal out to Joel Campbell again and he tries to just curl it into the top corner. But Jogowski, I don't know what that rollout was. And it could have led to a goal. But Sanchez actually put it wide off the near post. Now last, last minute, Campbell with a mistake actually gives the ball away. Diamante comes through the substitute, plays it back into the Correa. And in the 90th minute, we're able to steal the goal. And you can see what it means to the team. Angel Correa runs straight to the substitutes, celebrates with the team, with his teammates. And it's just after two defeats, two tough defeats between from Palace and from and from Bournemouth, two teams, you know, which we could be challenging. We can't quite scrape a scrape a draw, but with Arsenal, we're able to steal it in the last minute. And what a time as well! Angel Correa, lovely finish. Ospina rushes out, could not prevent the goal, and we do win one nil with that 90th minute finish. And it's just good to get the win, you know. It's good to get them points and uh, try and get up in the league table. Last game of the episode. Four games for you today. Last one. We're going away to Stoke. And you can see um, in the team, Dragowski did well in his first game. He got a clean sheet against Arsenal, who are title contenders. So, of course, I'm going to keep him in the team. You don't change a winning team. This is the same team that played. And you can see here... What an interesting fact. We have conceded the most goals in the league. 16 goals we've conceded, whereas Stoke have only conceded 6. So, you know that we need... We've all, we've obviously got a chain tank in our defence. What a ball that was from Drinkwater. Just like a Steven Gerrard uh, pass. Diamante comes in and couldn't curl it into that far post as we almost created a chance. But what a ball that was from uh, Drinkwater. Arnautovic now comes through, gets to, tries to get across him. Neon actually takes him out. And it was a free kick. And you can see the ref slowly, slowly walks over to Neon and does actually give out a yellow card as our players run around the goalkeeper, uh, run around the referee, trying to change his mind. Obviously, he's not going to do it. He's already given a yellow card. Let's just get on and play with it. The free kick is going to be taken by Bojan as it comes in. And you can see Arnautovic gets himself up and just bullet headers it over Dragowski. Difficult one to save. I'm not even sure if, if Gomez was in goal would have saved that. So, you know, tough one to take on the chin, but we have to pick ourselves up and try and get ourselves back into this game as Crouch actually hits the crossbar and very nearly that could have been 2-0 at the half-time score. It was 1-0. We couldn't pick up a goal just before the half-time, so, so we're going to have to try and do it in the second half, obviously. Neom, the man who gave away that free kick, gets it in and Correa's shot was saved by Given and we couldn't bundle it over the line. Uh, Belkalem actually gets nutmeg there as the ball comes through for Bojan. Um, I'm not sure what that was, but eventually he does actually get round our defence. And after the deflection, a very good save by Jagalski to his near post. We come through here, Correa. This is our best chance of the game as he plays it through to Etchi and Kapu. It could have been a simple finish, but Shea Given, the old old veteran goalkeeper, able to throw himself. And we did end up losing that game 1-0. And you can see we've got some training for you once again. And some good growth. And this is how the league table is looking. Three defeats in that last in in that episode but we're still able to have a nice nice looking position in 12th 
and you can see that Man United are actually down in 14th and Liverpool in 16th. Stoke were top of the league, of course, the team that beat us in the last game. But I'm just glad to be having a video out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Hopefully, I'll get some more out soon around Christmas time. You know, I'll get some time to make videos. So leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time.